As Christians celebrate the Easter holiday today, members of the Jewish faith are continuing their observance of Passover. And at Gilmore Academy, a Catholic institution in Gates Mills, students of both faiths are coming together to learn and embrace different cultures and traditions through the school's Jewish Heritage Club. From the quiet reflections of the holy water in the chapel, to the images of Christ adorning the walls. Why this unit, we're talking about holiness. And to the students fun. taking notes in theology class. Saints inspire us to grow in holiness and nourish our hope. The sights and sounds of Catholicism take center stage within the halls of Gilmore Academy. The majority of our students are Catholic. We are connected to the Diocese of Cleveland. Founded in 1946, the private co-ed school centers learning, service, and leadership around the Holy Cross tradition. Every student participates in a retreat every single year. Every student is expected to engage in our service program. So it's probably not where you'd expect to find this. Uh, one spoon, one fork. A Seder dinner celebrating the Jewish holiday of Passover. Find a seat and welcome. This is the Jewish Heritage Club. You'll see a Seder plate and we'll explain what's going on. Founded a year and a half ago by current seniors Brennan Friedman, Eli Swirsky, Herosis. and Miles Greenwald. We praise you, God. Three Jewish students who wanted to share part of their faith with their peers. Flowers here on the earth. We have two reasons for this. Is one is anti-Semitism is on the rise and our goal is, is to spread awareness, and we do this through our club. And number two is um, a lot of our friends um, don't really know what the Jewish faith is like. A club celebrating Judaism at a Catholic institution. We're going to say an after-dinner prayer. It surprised club advisor Jeff Klein. And I said, are you serious? What do you really want to be? I said, we're a Catholic school. You want to do this? And he says, yeah. The trio was serious, and their peers were supportive. Eloheinu melech ha'olam. Klein, a science teacher at Gilmore, who also happens to be Jewish, remembers 52 students showed up to the first meeting. So it's just been awesome to, you know, educate our friends on how we've been raised and just give them a bit of a different perspective for what life is like for somebody of Jewish faith. The club meets weekly, doing service, taking field trips, and of course, educating. And they'll put a PowerPoint together and do a little education about maybe what's the difference between Hanukkah and Christmas. Future club president Carter Richmond knows both well. His mother is Catholic and his father is Jewish. He's navigated both faiths and hopes to help others do the same. In them coming to Jewish Heritage Club, it's a way to teach them about another big religion in the world. It's kind of exciting to see them grow in their understanding of the Jewish faith. Take this matzah, the moror, horosis, we make a sandwich. Opening we'll eyes and exposing students to different perspectives in the club and in the classroom. Through theology class and mass and retreats we've done, it's been pretty cool to get a different perspective of how religion works for other people. And so I tell the kids all the time, it's imp important to understand other faiths so that you can actually understand your faith in a deeper perspective. Whitney Daly, the school's chief mission integration officer, wasn't surprised at all to hear of the Jewish Heritage Club, given the school's core values of inclusiveness and hospitality. In a world where there's so much polarization and so much division, it's really important for us here to foster authentic um, dialogue and to help people understand that we all have human dignity and we all have something to share and we're our best when we are able to learn from and with one another. While the three founding seniors of the club are off to new adventures after this school year. I hope you enjoyed it and we brought a little bit of education. They're determined to pass the menorah, as Klein says, to the next class of students. I think it's important to like always keep learning and continuing to learn about other people and what they believe in. All right, we're good, 50 minutes later. I think our club just represents that as a whole. Yeah, so I think it's remarkable, this club. You know, when I'm sitting down with the founders of that club, I said, look, you know, you're Jewish, you go to a Catholic school. Yeah. Walk me through how you even came up with the idea. And you know, you heard through that story, they were just so interested in allowing other people into their lives the way they feel being in a Catholic institution has opened their eyes to things that they didn't grow up with or they weren't aware of. So I love what that teacher said, you know, in having a mirror to kind of examine your own faith and your own beliefs by being part of someone else's, 
it's a, it's a valuable lesson, I think, in, in understanding. And I think it's often lost, truthfully, is to digging into others' backgrounds. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. you see the surface and you see what they do every single day um, and you kind of assume. And I think that breaks the assumption as well. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I think it's so important too to honor, not only to recognize their faith, and their traditions, but to honor them as well, because mm -hmm. we can all learn so much from other people. I feel like we would be missing out right. if we did it, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Important to learn from others, and 